Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. In today's video, I'm going to be using a homemade paint splatter stencil to create a fun gnome card for a swap I'm in. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create, and get a few tips along the way. My friend Danny hosts a swap group and I decided it's a new year so I'm going to play along. The swap that I signed up for has a gnomes theme and we have a one-on-one -on -one swap so I send to a partner and she sends to me and I thought it would be fun to show you the card that I'm going to create. Now I won't post this video until I know my partner has received her card because I do believe she is a subscriber and channel member. The main products I'm going to be using today are the stencil that I made, and I know the splatter is kind of little in there, but I thought this would allow for some room so I don't like blend off the edge of the stencil. For my gnome, I will be using this stamp from Woodware, and this set is called Arty Gnome. If I can find it, I will link it in that description box below. I just thought that you know, the paint splatters on him and the paintbrush would go well with that stencil I created. Now you know I love a rainbow, so I will be stenciling in a rainbow of colors from Gina K Designs, and I will list these colors in that description box below if you're interested. Now as I go along and bring in other products and tools, I will be sure to let you know. But as always, if I leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started, I'm going to be stamping the main image from the set, and I pre-cut two pieces of Nina Solar White to four and a quarter by five and a half. On one of these, I will be coloring with some alcohol markers later, so I got out my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This first gnome that I'm going to stamp will eventually be cut out and colored, but because I'm setting it up for two pieces of cardstock, I did try to get it centered on that area as best as possible before inking it up and stamping. Now my ink pad is a little dry and this stamp is newer, so I did ink it up and stamp it twice for a nice solid black. Now on that second piece, it is more just for a guide of where to stencil, so I just used the ink that was left on that stamp and did a very light impression. Now it's time to do a little stenciling with my DIY paint splatter stencil, and my plan is to make that follow the outline of the gnome in that rainbow of inks. So I don't have to keep moving tape to keep a stencil in place or keep my gnome in place, I did bring in this mat which is by Tim Holtz. It is grippy, not sticky, and it works perfectly for something like this. It holds the cardstock down and the stencil. I'm going to start up in the upper left corner with the pink, and I'm just going to put down as much ink as I think looks nice on there. And then before I can move on to the next color, I do need to clean that stencil off. I don't want to contaminate my next brush or have the colors kind of muddy up. So once that's clean and dry, I'm then going to place it for the orange. As I moved around the outline of the gnome and changed colors, I would also kind of rotate and flip my stencil just to get different looks. Now as I went along, I did try to keep the same distance between each splatter. I do think though at the end, I probably should have put these a little bit closer together because I don't get to put an additional splatter of the green, blue, or purple, but later I bring those colors in in a different way. Off camera, I used my brother's scan and cut to die cut my gnome, and I also used a stitched rectangle die to take just a little bit off the edges of my ink blended piece. To color my gnome and to bring in some of the colors that we didn't get to stencil twice, I brought in a green, blue, and purple Spectrum Noir marker. I will list the individual colors in the description box below. And what we're going to do is just color the splatters of paint on the gnome. 
Because I'm not a huge fan of coloring images, but I have so many cute ones, this is a technique I do often. I like to call it selective coloring, where I leave most of the image black and white, but I just highlight one or two colors. In this instant, it is the three, just to help pull out some of those colors from the background. Now, I do very simple coloring here. I like the Spectrum Noir because all three of your shades are in one marker. I will let you see the whole process but if you don't want to watch it you can skip ahead maybe 30 seconds to a minute Off camera, I prepared a top fold card base with my personalized stamp on the back, and now we're gonna stamp the sentiment on the inside. For this, I chose Being Creative is Magical. How perfect is that for an arty gnome card? I decided to go with the blue ink that I used to stencil the front, once again just to pull some more of those missing colors out, and I just got this inked up and stamped right on there. And then I decided for a little bit more decoration on the inside that I would kind of clean off my green blending brush and add a little paint splatter to the bottom right. This is a great way to bring the design from the front to the inside and help you do a little cleaning of your blending brushes. All of the card parts are ready so we can start assembling. The ink blended piece gets placed flat down onto the card front. There is now a small white border around the edge of that. And then on the gnome, I did add some foam tape off camera so we could pop him up and add a little dimension. I did my best to see where the kind of light outline in the background was to know where to place my gnome. You definitely don't want any of that lighter one peeking out from the edges. To add a little more fun and make our paint splatters look more realistic, I brought in my small bottle of glossy accents and we're going to use it on each of the little paint splatters that we colored on the gnome. When I do my glossy accents, I do try to keep it pretty thin, so I usually go around the outside of the area that I want to be glossy with a light pressure just to get a small line, and then I quit squeezing the bottle and kind of fill that area in with the nozzle. Now, as you're going along, you might need to kind of put it in the light to make sure everything's covered, and you can always add a little extra drop to places that might need it. Now this does take a while to dry, so I did set it for overnight before I finished it off with some sequins, and here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. And now I have a special giveaway for those of you who have watched until the end. Since it is a surprise, make sure not to give it away in the comments below, please. I am going to give away the paint splatter stencil that I made and used on today's card to five lucky subscribers.
To enter to win, you must be 18 years or older. You can be USA or international, and you must be subscribed to my channel. Subscribing is free, quick, and easy. Just click on that button below this video if you haven't already. Entering is super easy, it's just two steps. At the bottom of my description box below, you'll find a link to a Google form. Now you'll give me your username, your first name, and then your complete mailing address. This way, I won't have to wait for you to contact me with that. If you're one of the winners, I can go ahead and send out your little prize. And just so you know, once the giveaway is over, I will delete that form. I'm not going to keep those addresses for any other purposes or share them with anyone else. This is just to make it a little bit easier to get the prizes out. Once you've filled that form out, come back to this video and leave any comment that you want that doesn't give away the special surprise and make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag gnome. That way I'll know that you've filled out the form and you've completed the second step here with the comment. You will have until midnight on the date that's up on the screen now to enter to win. I can't tell you in this voiceover because I'm not sure when my swap partner will receive her card or when this video will get posted. I will be back probably a week after that with a community tab post to announce the five winners. And then since I already have your addresses, I'll get these sent out to you. Thank you for watching the video this far and good luck in the giveaway. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.